What's up guys, it's Fugle with Fugles Outdoors. And he's a loser. She thinks I'm a loser because I'm not going to wear waders on this trip, which I'm probably going to regret later. Like I'm regretting not bringing my microphone with me. So if the audio sucks, I'm sorry guys. But we are with Wildlife Biologist Lady again today. And uh, she is out here looking for some salamanders and we're crossing some pretty wet spots. She's getting waders on. Oh look, it's a puppy. We are inside the classroom. A little sneak peek here. <laughs> She's looking at waiters, seeing if any fit me. Because I lied, I'm totally wearing a pair, I think. Here it goes. Huh? It's time. Oh, I should probably leave that open. Mm -hmm. I should probably leave that open. Do you not need your stand? Um, nah. We can alternate out. Well, I might need it if we're both. Yeah, let's go get the stand. I'm having a terrible time remembering things today. And I forgot to adjust my lighting before I came inside. It's getting off to a good start, isn't it? But look at that, I'm back outside and the lighting's perfect. Yeah. It's pedal time. Water. Very fancy. So how far away is this where we're going? She said we're making a big circle because I'm about positive you can't hear. Huh? Say it again. <laughs> We're making a big circle. There we go. Check out the clock. What'd you just catch? It's a red back salamander. Let's see it. And you know they're red back salamanders because down their back they are red. He's a pretty little guy, isn't he? Mm-hmm. And these live in moist habitats like this. They have aquatic larval stages too, so that's why they live near the river. So they'll go and lay their egg masses in the grass that's near the banks on the river. And then after they've went through their aquatic larval, larva, good lord, larva stage, they get on the land. Fancy. Yep, and you just want to put them back. Okay, these boars are out here because we do habitat analysis and salamander sensing, which is just surveying how many salamanders are in the area and looking at what species are here and what time of the year they're here. Sweet. Nothing. Really, probably the only bugs. Peel bugs. I love these little guys. What do you Phylum think? Arthropoda. They have a chitin exoskeleton. If you look underneath them. I'll transfer it to you and I'll take the camera. They have the antennules and then underneath them they have the paired appendages. If you can get it on camera here. Like that. Yeah. The pill bug. I've always called these a roly-poly oly bug because they roll up in a little ball to defend themselves. There's marine ones, they're huge, they're like this big. What? Yeah. That would be awesome. So what is this called again? A peel bug. Okay. And they have these little paired appendages underneath them. The, the back two are modified and the front two are modified for locomotion. So there they go. She said she's found another red back. Yeah, number two. Aw, oh, look at that sweet little baby. All right. He's a tiny one, ain't he? Mm-hmm. Not as small as some of them I've found. Let's go put him back. Okay, these are two different redbacks, and you can see the different color variations in them. Redbacks don't have to all 
on their backs. This one's actually lost its tail, and um, that that will grow back. Um, but red bats can be seen from dark browns to really bright red on their backs to sometimes even solid red. Now but, earlier we mentioned that these are the most like predominant ones around here. Yeah, uh, red bats are the most common species found around here. There are also um, Blue Ridge Duskies, uh, Gray Cheek Salamanders, Slimy Salamanders, but the redbacks also come out first in the herping season um, when it starts to warm up in the spring and so that's why these guys are, that's why we're catching a bunch of them. It's and when good. you say around here, where is around here? Uh, I don't know, North Carolina, just Blue Ridge Mountains. So here they are. Really we'll put cool. them back. Yes. So we've checked all the plots, or she has, not For, me. <laughs> this is the river habitat. The river habitat is what she called this. So I'm guessing there's more habitat? Yep. Okay. So we're going to the next habitat spot, which is up the road. Let's hit the trail. If you guys like these kind of videos, make sure to let me know in the comments below. You know, if you like the idea of the educational biology thing with it. I'm loving it. I mean, it's awesome to get out here and learn, but you know, I want to know what you guys like also. If you like this video, make sure to go check out my other hit the trail videos. I got tons of them on here. Kayaking, fishing, hunting, blow guns, all kinds of good stuff. And I'll be doing a lot more of these if you guys like them. Chaga. <laughs> He's weird, that too. What is it? It's a baby slimy salamander. Ooh, like the one I found in the cave that day. Yes. Okay. Like the one you found in the cave that day. And you know, oh, it's tiny. And you know it is because of all its little spots. It's cute. It's adorable. So See? what do you know about them? Um, they secrete are really slimy mucus and that's how they get their names. Usually when they pick them up as adults, they just slip out of your hands because they're so slimy. Oh, he's so cute. But he can grow up into a big one. There was a big old red back that was underneath here. Oh, there it is. He's a pretty good sized sucker, yep. isn't Yep, and he's under all this leaf litter. Yep. That's where he's going back to. They stand under there to stay moist. They have to stay moist because they're amphibians and if they dry out, they'll die. We are at the creek habitat. And she's already found one more red bag. There's a ton of redbacks, and I'm not going to record them all because then that's just boring footage. So we're trying to find something else. What'd you find? A what? A salamander eggs. A leech? Yeah, it definitely is. Ooh, okay. You can tell by their suckers. I can't see it. Yep, that's definitely a leech. Yeah. You want to hold it? I don't want to hold it. It might bite me. Mm, I don't care. That's a leech. They eat salamander eggs. They have posterior and anterior suckers so that they can feed on blood meal from their host. They're good for a lot of medical reasons, I know that. Yep. What'd you find? It's a Blue Ridge two line salamander. And you know that because it has. <gasps> oh man, it's quick, ain't it? Yep. I see it right there. You got it. Okay. <laughs> okay. You know that because it has two lines down its sides. One and two. Ah, uh, yas. So it's a two line salamander? What do you know about it? Mm, basically just like all the other uh. salamanders. 
they have aquatic larval stages that's why it's near this creek and so here it is they feed on little invertebrates that are in the waters and stuff like that name some of them if you can um just like the dragonflies stuff like that he's a jumper ain't he mm -hmm. So they can grow up real big and strong. Oh, so, so this looks like probably a northern dusky. That's looks like a blue ridge dusky. The northern duskies usually have more color to them. I don't know. Oh, where are you going, little buddy? So, what's that one in this hand? The little tiny one? Probably a Blue Ridge Dusky. Okay. Um, really wish he were a little bit bigger. Could be a zigzag. And um, the big one was? And the big one is a Northern Dusky. Cool. Yep. This is a crayfish nest. That's a crayfish nest. And I'm going to jump. I'm going to jump in the water. Okay, so this is quick mud. <laughs> I just jumped in, I started sinking up real quick. And the more you struggle, the lower you go. The only thing you could really do with this stuff though, because if I were to keep struggling right now, I would just keep going lower. Uh, cool little survival aspect for you guys. So what I'm gonna do actually, is I'm gonna stay calm, I'm not gonna move, and I'm gonna find something nearby. I actually have rope in my backpack I could use and throw to her, but that would be stupid since I have a rock right here. I'm just gonna lay back on land, and I'm gonna pull one leg out at a time here. I'm gonna put it on dry land, and then I'm gonna move this leg out. And I'm free from quick mud. And I jump in water. Did you get one? Yeah, that's a, that's a salamander. What is it though? Well, it's a fancy salamander. This is one of the brownback salamanders. They're rare to this side of Texas. <laughs> no. They're super venomous and I swear, <laughs> if this thing were to bite me right now, I'd probably die. I mean, I would have 20 minutes at tops to make it to the nearest hospital and uh, and I lost it. Oh wait, there it is. Crazy little guys, I'm telling you. Crazy, super, super poisonous. I'm gonna let him go before he decides to make me his next meal. <laughs> it's actually a redback salamander. Not poisonous, yeah. not harmful. <laughs> Let's go inside and get out of these muck boots, waders. Let's get undressed and head home. Hope they don't mind these being muddy. It's been so long since I've been in school, I'm having a blast. This is great. This is what I'm gonna do. Keep going. No, you're gonna hurt me. Either way it goes, guys. Either way it goes. We are going to quit the video here. And go to Wendy's. Go to Wendy's. <laughs> it's the only way to wrap up a field study day is to go to Wendy's. Uh, really cool classroom, super cool stuff in here, and a uh, great little study area. She's very fortunate to go to college here. And I'm very fortunate to have her on the team here teaching us all kinds of cool stuff. She's kind of she's cool, kind of. See you guys. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure to go check out my other Hit the Trail episodes. I've got, got tons of them on here. I also do Bushcraft and Survival episodes as well. Go down below, like, subscribe, and comment, and peace out.